All right, hey guys, yo, what's up? It's finally here. It's something I've been super excited where Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally out. And so today we're taking like, the Kingdom Hearts 3 Bring Arts, so Sora Donald, Donald Duck, because that's his official form name, and Goofy Toy Story version. This is the form they take on when they visit Toy Box, aka the Toy Story World. So it's a world where they turn to toys. And so Square Enix made actual toys out of them. Ooh, who would have thought that they did that? So first of all, let's take a look at the box. Here they are, they, they were released only as one big bundle so far and you can only get this on their Square Enix online shop they weren't released publicly they weren't given a public release only an online release and that sold out very fast if I remember correctly so Donald sorry, I mean, sorry not Donald there's Goofy, Sora and Donald we see their weapons some accessories and a Keyblade from which we'll get into later with Sora's review so side of the box here is side of the box just logos you, know, you got various logos box shows you you can do poses and everything with them show you all these cool shots you can do once again there's Sora, Donald Duck and Goofy Toy Story version uh, let's see side up the box down the box nothing much just basic logo stuff so pretty much a big bring our box because it's the because it's a giant box so there you go nothing really else to say about this big box <laughs> all right so here we have Sora right out the box himself so before we take a look at the actual figure you guys always know how we do on this channel if you guys did not already know how we do it on this channel on this channel we always do at the accessory count first before we take a look at the actual figure so Sora comes with uh with, a, with only one ex two real accessories so first off we got the keyblade we get from you visit the visit the toy story it's toy story world favorite deputy or also known as infinity badge in press release and early demo built rip that name that was a better name by the way don't know why they changed it to favorite deputy infinity badge was a way better name so so first off, as you can see it's a keyblade it has a cactus it has a bandana the cactus wears a hat the hat is not removable by the way so just to let you know we have the word sheriff written on the badge because it's based on what this upper half is based on woody then at the bottom base it is based on buzz lightyear himself with the with his rocket ship and uh, Star Command, is that what's called? Star Command bat, uh, wings badge thingamabob. Then the chain, this is plastic, and you can bend the keychain, but it feels really soft. You know what's up? It feels like it could break and snap at any point, so I don't recommend trying to bend this, bend this thing. And then we have the alien, the little green man as the token. So pretty good keyblade. I was expecting for him to get for him to get the keyblade, so that's pretty good. Next, he comes with a happy smiley face that looks really creepy when it's detached from the body. So there you go. Next, he only he comes with two comes with two closed fisted hands for him to punch stuff. So he had two punchy hands. So there you go. And then finally, you have one hand to just simply hold the keyblade because that's all that it can really do with this one hand. Because you only need one hand to hold the keyblade. So that's pretty much it for the accessory. Got basic amount of accessory, which is pretty much what I was hoping was I expecting. I was honestly expecting him to get the Toy, Toy Story toy box keyblade, which he did. So that's pretty good. Nothing else to really say about it. All right. So now let's take a look at the actual sword figure himself. So as you can see, uh, he's like, see, like I said, when he goes to the Toy Story toy box where he becomes a action figure. So. So he has a wooden D design, like a nutcracker-ish kind of way. We, we get my drip. So first off, uh, his paint application looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, this is design. His design looks pretty cool. I, I dig his design. Love the shade of gray and black, and the little apps of red. That I feel was used pretty good. So first off, head sculpt. There you go. There's Sora. Uh, he could spin his head somewhat around. He can move it up and down. Oh God, Jesus Christ! I decapitated Sora I'm live on camera. You can tilt his head, but his head can't fall off. Uh, shoulder joints, he somewhat has them. It's somewhat limited. His shoulders, you can't really don't have that much range, so keep that in mind. Elbow joints, you can. He does have, so you can do karate chop action with him. Uh, hands, they're on a ball joint, uh, on a swivel joint, so, but they fall off very easy, so please keep that in mind if you try to do stuff with his hands. Uh, torso, he does have an upper torso joint. It's on a little swivel. You really don't get you do get a quite a bit of a movement, but of a rotation area, but in terms of like uh, moving him up and down, not really, no waist joint, so legs, yeah, he has legs, yep, his, he does have a kicking leg, so that's pretty good, but again, like I said, it's super limited by his boxy design, so that's that's, that's kind of big of a problem. Uh, kicking, yep, he can kick, there's his kick, kick, kicking foot, he can kick the soccer ball, no other articulation on his on his foot, he does have a shoe, heel, where, where, we, where you want to call this, uh, ball swivel so you somewhat can move his shoes around but not really that much so that's kind of a thing you have to 
look out for but other than that pretty good solid figure if I do have to say so myself so in the end one of my final thoughts about the Brainyard Sora, Sora, Donald and Goofy uh, Toy Story Toy Box version action figure kung fu karate chop batteries included uh bring art figures i mean i dig them they're super cool i like how they i like how they turn the actual figures from the game into actual figures because let's be real here as soon as we saw suddenly they returned to figures square Enix was probably going to release figures of them anyway because they didn't want to miss out on this opportunity i mean i dig them they're super cool super meta but a super meta joke um, Sora's definitely my favorite out of bunch because that's because he's the protagonist and he gets a cool keybait. If you if you're collecting the the Bring Arts line, you get another keybait to add to your Sora Bring Arts keyblade line now. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, Goofy is probably a good second. Uh, he feels weird at times. Don't know if that's just my figure or if there's wrong, something wrong with the actual figure himself. Donald Duck is definitely the weakest because he does have going on. Because let's face it, nobody likes Donald. He doesn't heal you, so so he doesn't really do anything much. I'm sure you pick up and sure you get these. Um, as of right now, these have only been released on the Square Enix store, and they haven't said any plans of re-releasing this bundle or re-release or re-releasing them as individual figures. But knowing Square Enix, they don't like missing out on money, and they will probably at some point probably re-release them as indi individual figures. I hope they do because that'll be super great and everything. Um, but because right now, like I said, they're, they're only available online, and you really can't get online from ordering through a special. Square Enix store bundle deal and you really can't get anywhere else that kind of sucks I mean you can go on eBay or something like that and pay outrageous scalpel price but we don't we don't do that here so so if in the future they ever do get re-released definitely pick up the set because they're super cool I really love their toy their toy design and the fact that they're act their toy designs with actual toys if you get what I'm saying so of all they're pretty great and pretty cool and everything that's pretty much all I had I really have to say for these guys like I said super meta super cool um, stay tuned after some weird creepy anime pictures and I'll see you next time and uh, Kate thanks bye